Anyhow, I want you to hear a couple of stories that were rather humorous because it was a horrible, horrible tragedy, and it was called the Sims War. At that time, there was this man named Robert Sims. He was a preacher. He claimed Seventh-day Adventist, but he departed radically from their teachings and made up his own beliefs and teachings. And so he started making whiskey also and selling it and wouldn't pay the tax. So that's what started the Sims War. The uh, neighbors, of course, were unhappy with him and reported him to the Federals in Mobile. So uh, they came up to arrest him, and it was six months of terror and tragedy. Twenty-eight people were either killed, shot, or lynched during the Sims War. And of that number, only two were African Americans. All the rest of those people were white folks. And uh, Bob Sims was lynched on Christmas Day right here at Gilbert Town at the crossroads. But, but I wanted to tell you a couple of humorous stories in connection with the Sims War. Uh, oh, you're passing my pictures around? Yeah. Okay. If you look at Bob Sims' face, he has the sweetest looking face. He looks like an angel, but he was a terror to the community. He would burn down people's barns and and... Then his family, his followers, his Simsites, killed Baptist preacher Richard Carroll. That's really what started the Sims War uh, and brought it to full culmination in 1891. Well, I'm going to tell you a couple of funny stories about, uh, well, first of all, I was going to tell you an Indian story, so tell me when you want me to shut up and sit down. I won't get insulted. Chief Pushmataha walked practically everywhere he went, and 